All right, everyone, and this is my review on the LEGO Rivendell set. We haven't gotten a Lord of the Rings set in years, so this was a great surprise when this was announced last year. This is set number 10316. It is an 18 plus set, has 6,167 pieces, and it is a LEGO icon set, and we are expecting to get more Lord of the Rings sets next year. As you can see, the instruction booklets are very well designed, and you can tell them they are numbered by the amount of leaves on the front, which is pretty clever from the visual design department. You can see that the actual LEGO creators of the set are positioned like the Fellowship of the Rune picture. You can see some of the past Lord of the Rune sets, including the Tower of Orthanc, which is amazing. Each instruction booklet gives a little blurb on the section that it builds. And then there are also these fun little facts and tidbits and nuggets throughout the instruction booklets labeled by the leaf. And there are a total of 49 numbered bags. Here are the minifigs in the set. We have Bilbo Baggins, Frodo, Sam, uh, Mary, Pippin, uh, all of, you know, the hobbits are really well designed i love the dual molded legs and how they are short we have gloin we have gimli we also have aragorn boromir and then we have a lot of elves because it is rivendell so it makes sense we have legolas two blacksmith elves uh, lord elrond arwen and gandalf the gray now most of these minifigs have dual sided faces you can see bilbo's face when he's trying to get in the ring from frodo frodo's i guess shocked face you have a couple of different expressions from the other hobbits Gloin does not have a double side face because of his beard so it doesn't really make sense Kimli does come with hair um aragorn and boromir both have double side faces and so do all of the elves as well and uh, gandalf does not have a double side face but he also comes with hair similar to Gimli. And then on the back, we do have some back printing. I do like the buttons that are given to the Hobbit's uh, vests. And Gloin, Gloin's main figure is a big disappointment. It's not well designed or detailed, but the rest of them very well. I'm very pleased with all the other minifigs. I just felt like Gloin was really short. Um, <laughs> I mean, he is a dwarf, but just short in production and value. Now, just a couple main things to point out, Aragorn's, like, chain mesh on the inside labeled. I do like Boromir's uh, overall design on the torso. And then if you look closely on the vest, it has, like, golden uh, swirls, which is, you know, very accurate to the movie. I love the helmet. The dwarven helmet is amazing. And this is also what Gimli looks like without a beard. It's a little weird. Um, but then... The patchwork, the leather work, it's all very detailed on the torso of that minifigure. Legolas's torso, the silver lining, I mean, a lot of that is on all the elven minifigs, but I do like how they were super specific in making his dual molded legs, just not like straight lines, but like they look like boots. And then Lord Elrond's uh, sort of like silver chrome detailing as well it looks phenomenal. On that minifigure and then we also have some brick built uh legs slash like sitting um modes for these minifigs and we can show that later this set also comes with a brick separator comes with a variety of spare parts and i picked some out of the spare parts pile the ones that i think are cool just like the broken sword that we get two of and now here is the lego rivendell set and it is um, it is a beauty. Like, even seeing it in person in the Lego store didn't do it justice from having it in hand. You do build this in three sections. We're going to review this in three sections. The first section you build is this sort of, like, tower area. You can see that there are statues out front. There's three kinds of statues, and I love the building techniques that we use to build this tower in this shape. It's just so, so good. And you can fit a minifigure up here. And this little like terrace area um there is this little like leaf that you can pull aside and you can access this like uh, like water aqueduct or whatever i'm sure you can hide something in there uh so that's a cool feature this new lego fern piece um is really nice and now we move on to this open area which has a bookshelf some candle stands and a really nice cushioned bench area that you can 
sit a minifigure on to read a book or you can just stand them nearby. There's Arwen with her book from the bookshelf. And up top on the second floor, you can see this is Bilbo Baggins's room. And there are uh, several stickers in this area, but it comes with a very nice bed, a very nice little lamp uh, nightstand. And then in this chest, you can find that there is the mithril and sting that he's going to give both to Frodo. Over here is where he's writing or finishing his book there and back. Again, you can see the fountain pen and the inkwell and a lovely chair and he gets a great view. You can then change Bilbo to his legs for sitting down and you can sit him in the chair. Now in this next section, this is the second section that we build, you can see there's a great, well-detailed river. I really like how it came out. And this really great bridge as well that leads up to a gazebo, which, oh my gosh, this is phenomenal. The usage of the toilet seats or the life preservers, I think, is absolutely hilarious, but it works so well. It's so well-detailed. You get the same bench, just as the previous section. And then in this uh, waterfall, I love how they did the foam. I love the terraforming. It came out really well. And then you have some mushrooms and a frog back here. Every single mushroom in the set is glow-in-the-dark. That's right. That was such a cool little feature for me to figure out on my own that was great the gazebo does come off on top to give you top-down access but you can also access it through this very open gap in the back there is a stone sharpener for swords and you can see there are two removable sword and weapon stands that come with a variety of weapons it's actually a good amount and you can have one of the blacksmiths uh sharpening or hammering the sword out here is the other side and the other entrance to that little forge area. I love the illegal brick usage of these uh, little ele elements to make the fungi on the sides of the trees. That was like mind-blowing to me. I love how this tree is just like the roots are coming out of the side of the mountain. I thought that was really well constructed. Like this entire little outdoor area was very fun for me to build. And then you can see it looks like there's two layers of fire. It's actually not. It's actually like very, it's a reflective black piece back there is to make it look like there's further depth than there actually is. And then that was another Lego blacksmith foraging and drill um, the sword. And there was also a shovel in the barrel back there that you could see. Now, moving on to this third and final section, you can see there are two pathways that branch out. One, you can take through this nice little entryway, which is very well designed, very well detailed. And let me say the roof, oh my goodness, the roof looks so good and so satisfying when all of those pieces are lined up and there is a little tower on top reflecting the first part. You can see there's some lambus bread on the table. Uh, and if you look through there, there is that like mariner's tool to look at stars on a very nice stand. I thought that was very well designed. Back here, there's a small little white bench with a small tree and then a very big tree, which is also a great design. It looks amazing, contrasted with the other trees that Legos built. Then you can see there's a lot of places back here where you can write on maps or just read charts or scrolls or whatnot i love the tile the tile it's all printed it's all printed tiles i i was that that, that blew me away of there's not a lot of stickers i mean some of the stickers are big and cumbersome and they're annoying but the all the tiled pieces that we got in the set was just it, it made my day it was so good you can see this stairwell leads up to that mariner's tool that's where you access it from the inside and then there's another stairwell that leads to a second level and it's a very open concept i love the architecture and the arches used you can see this is how the two sections connect and there's a clip up there you can now see how the wall sort of adds to the library before and then the doorway uh, very smoothly connects over and transitions into the hall and Bilbo's room even gets a nice little view from up top so you can see how that sort of just uh, is really well put together. Now here's the painting of Isildur and Sauron have a couple paintings up top as well and then you have the broken sword with uh, an elven statue holding it and that's supposed to be the blue like fabric cloth that it lays on up top where Boromir and Aragorn meet and then uh, he meets Arwen and all that stuff. 
Now transitioning to the outside, we can see the council area, which just it, it looks so good amidst the rest of the set. I love how the roof is you know curved to fit that. It is removable, uh, which is nice, so that it can sort of be a standalone piece if you wanted it to. Uh, here's a 360 view of it. The tree is amazingly built, and I love the techniques used. Now, underneath this area is a great place where you can store those extra pieces. But looking at, like, specifically the roots, like, oh my goodness, like, it just... That tree was very fun to build. It's a very great tree. And the chairs are made out of hot, hot dogs and popsicles. Um, <laughs> I think that was really clever usage of those parts. You can see that Lord Elrond's chair is obviously uh, looks nicer than the rest. And there's the ring in the center. And there's everyone sitting down uh, trying to decide what to do with the ring of power. And, I mean, it's just such a memorable scene from Rivendell. I'm happy they added it and they did such a good job designing that one circular area and here's all the minifigs across the set so that is lego rivendell in its glory and it couldn't look better thank you everyone for watching this review please like comment and subscribe this was such a fun set to build and i highly highly recommend getting it because it is just it was a blast every step of the way. There were just so many amazing surprises and just building techniques that I didn't expect LEGO to use that worked really well. A lot of satisfying moments in this. It was just, it was all around a really, really, really great time. Really great memory. I would actually be more than willing to build this set again. And it's a big set, like this is a big set, but it was so fun. I would, I would definitely build it again for a second time. So like, comment, subscribe, share this video, click the bell notification so you get notified when I'm posting new content. So studio, see you all in the next video. Peace out.